Agro Preparedness here. Good afternoon, YouTube world. Just got back from doing a little bit of grocery shopping. We've got a couple items here that uh, we added to our, our long-term food storage. This time under $10. Uh, we always look out for sales that are always going on. So without further ado, let's see what we got. Okay, now we always need fruit in our diet. So we'll cover these two items first. Uh, canned peaches are always a welcomed item in your long-term pantry. Let's see, we have here one half cup serving, serve six, calories 90 per serving, zero fat, no trans, no saturated, cholesterol zero, sodium 1%, total carbohydrates seven, 21 grams, fiber, 4% sugar, 15 grams, vitamins, vitamin A, 6%, calcium, 0, vitamin C, 2%, iron, 0. And then some other items down at the bottom pretty much gives you about 4, 9 grams of fat, 4 carbohydrates, 4 protein. Uh, for the size of this can, and it is a product of Greece. So, the ingredients, peaches, water, glucose, fructose syrup. We know what that is. Corn, sugar, acidity regulator, which is citric acid. This was uh, a brand name from a local market. Peaches, they're peaches. They taste good, last a long time in a can, good to go. Uh, best Buy date is... Of December 31st 2018 a whole lot longer than just a couple years guaranteed crushed pineapple same con same contractor company for this grocery store chain this one's made in Thailand okay uh, Thai pineapple the ingredients pineapple water no sugar Natural juices. Uh, we got our, our uh, serving size, one half cup. There are 4.5 servings per can. Calories 70. Calories from fat zero. Nothing as far as anything goes up to total carbohydrates, six percent, four percent dietary fiber, and sugar, 14 grams. Uh, Vitamin A, 0, calcium, 1, iron, 2, vitamin C, 10. So it's good for vitamin C. Vitamin C is a concern because during uh, times of uh, crisis, emergency, you're going to need some, you're going to need all your vitamins, and 10% of vitamin C is essential. Vitamin D, you get from going out and visiting the sun once in a while. Uh, expiration date is March 2018, so... About a year, but we know that in a can, it can go a whole lot longer than that. Now, these are a little treat. These are this store brand's version of peanut butter chocolate bars. Uh, you had uh, two for a dollar, so you get four for two dollars, and these can go right into a vacuum, and they won't bloom. Uh, the peanut won't go bad. These could stay in a vacuum for a very, very, very long time. Uh, Best Buy is 822 of this year, but I can guarantee that once I put these in a vacuum, that extends uh, X times the uh, storage time. It is a chocolate peanut butter product, so it's going to have uh, iron, 2%, calcium, none, Vitamin C, none. Vitamin A, none. Sugar, 20, 25 grams. Protein, 5 grams. Fiber, 8. Sodium, 3%. Cholesterol, 2. Saturated fat, 40. Total fat, 25. Eat the whole bar. That's a 
That's a gimme. The uh, fact that it only costs two dollars for four bars, not a bad deal today. Well, that's a pretty good deal. Like I said, uh, you're getting four of these for two for two dollars. Uh, two dollars is a lot of money nowadays, so we'll be thankful that you got that. Uh, those will always be on sale because it's what they do. Okay, McCormick's makes the brown gravy, which uh, I recommend because it's uh, long shelf life. The manufacturer says Best Buy September 2018. What you do is you take a package of this, add it to another package of something similar to it, something you're going to eat within a few days, put them back to back, Nip them at the side to allow the oxygen out. Lay them flat and vacuum seal them. We'll do a video on that to show how that's done. But uh, you always got to have gravy and you always got to have taco mixes. Remember, they're mixes, so you basically don't do anything else to them but add water. And you can make gravy for your mashed potatoes because you know you're going to do mashed potatoes. You want something to put on those. Uh, this is the hot version of the tacos. You get three packages. Uh, what was that? The taco season costs 66 cents a package. Yep, all three. And then the gravy was 67 cents. So that's not bad for under $10. Of course, if this was 30 years ago, that $10 would have gone twice as far, but today it don't. So if you look at the inflation of today with the foods and the food cost, uh, not bad for $10. I mean, you're getting your intake, your caloric intake may not be the greatest, your vitamins may not be the greatest, but uh, this is something that I'm going to eat now and I'm going to have in my pantry. I don't want something that's going to be a surprise to my digestive system if I'm not eating it. And these are the things that I eat. Either it be good for you or not. I'll tell you what. I'll be totally honest with you. At a time of crisis or emergency, I can give a rat's patootie about eating good. I want to make sure that I fill my stomach. I want to make sure my metabolism is running. I want to make sure my sweet tooth is satisfied. And I want to make sure I've got something to, to make whatever I've managed to fry up. It could be rat. It could be cat. It could be possum, squirrel. If I got something like this, like a taco taco mix and then mix with it, it might make it more palatable. If I manage to get out of my garden uh, potatoes or I've managed to barter potatoes because they do have a long shelf life, I'm going to make some gravy to make it edible. So, you know, everybody's out there being gourmet uh, preppers. I'm all for that. I encourage diversity in your pantry but when it comes to uh some of the laps of luxury i mean this is a luxury item that's a luxury item but boy i tell you what after several days or several weeks without something to give my tummy a bit of a yummy i'm gonna go ahead and stockpile or stock or put away or whatever you want to call it set aside uh for a rainy day i'm gonna have it and we all, it's about what we got to say today, folks. And we're preparing this here. Take care of your family. Take care of your country. It's the only two things you have. Have a good day.